Hi there, it's Darlene. I hope you're having a good one. So, I've been getting comments um, in my videos and um, elsewhere that this, in the Infinity System, is not a scam. It's just things that just didn't quite go right, you know? So I'd like to have a look at some of them and see what you think. Now, this is an interesting one. This I had to take out of my um, YouTube studio where all my analytics and stuff are because after this guy had this long conversation with me, he deleted it. <laughs> but that doesn't delete it from YouTube studio, so I still have it. So start at the very bottom as, as he starts off and says, Oh, and unfortunately, by the way, my responses aren't here because he deleted the entire thread. So I don't even have my responses. And some of these, his are cut off. Um, this is all I got, though. So as he says, truth be told, it didn't go as planned as the promise was that you could pass it in seven days. That's not all that was planned. Pan. Oh, my God. Well, that's not all that was promised. However, as someone who has tested their bots on both demo and live accounts, I can say that their bots work. If I lost money, it was either because I got too greedy or I ignored their warning not to trade when the markets are volatile. Overall, I think they've put together a pretty good product to be continued. He continues. Uh, that's the second, second one from the bottom. In short, they have been extremely open with the situation of things and very honest about it. What? Well, well, we'll get into that. Jonas is a very interesting and nice person. He comes on a live call at least twice a month. And it's always fun being on the call with him. In fact, he joked about how he got a tattoo on his head on our last call. Yeah, he did. He has been helpful. Before you slap the word scam on people, please do your fact-checking very well. Do your fact-checking very well. Ah, uh, yeah, I've done a lot more than that. And in the middle, he says, Infinity System is not a scam. I repeat, for anyone who is willing to listen, it isn't. Okay, well, if you're so sure of yourself, why did you delete your comments? Why did you delete this whole thread? If you're wanting to tell people, tell people. I won't take your stuff down. You know? So if you're not willing to belt it out from the mountaintop like I am, like, come on, man. I guess your convictions aren't that good. But anyways, and Jono is serious about refunding or purchasing another evaluation account for you if you fail your prop firm evaluation. Oh, no, 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 buddy. This is off the table. He's not doing that anymore. That all went away when, with the done-for-you stuff. There, there's no refund for that anymore. They haven't denied it. Yes, it's true that some prop firm changed their terms or not refunding or not refunding a valuation fee. It's not Jonah or Jonas's fault. It was beyond them. And in compensation, they reduced the monthly subscription cost. Ah, uh, no. They dangled that reduction of the mon monthly subscription cost in front of people so that they would sign up for it and then lose all of the done-for-you stuff and get put on the you got to stay here for seven months thing, the 215-day warranty, which is not, like nothing. Now the one second from the top. Darlene Fraser, like I said in my previous comment, the system isn't perfect and it's not zero work like they advertised. However, that's not how it was for the first account I had with him. Them? Had? Uh, how it was for the first account? It was 100% done for you. Okay, then. If it worked so well, why don't you still have it? Why aren't you making money with it? The second account was about 70% done for you. You do the 30%. Um, no, that was the plan where it's like, here's your bot, you put it on, and don't bother looking at it or anything because it'll be just fine. So, yeah, the only reason why the workload on that, that was so low is because you weren't checking your bot, you weren't ma monitoring it. And that's why he says the second account was about 70% done for you. Buddy. Why don't you have that account anymore either? Because it crashed and burned because you need to watch the bot and you need to be able, you need to learn about it. So I see a problem with scaling here. <laughs> Is a problem with scaling? I see a major problem with lying, but anyways. 
rather than intentional scam. Please note that in the advertisement, they didn't promise any training. Well, no, they didn't. They weren't supposed to promise training. You weren't supposed to be trained on squat. It said no learning. You know, it was supposed to be completely done for you. So that kind of means that there would be nothing to train. And in fact, Jono even kind of brought that out in his videos when he says, see, look at there's hardly anything in the dashboard because you don't have to do anything. Well, look how that's changed. Top paragraph. It's rather a product adjustment. A <laughs> product adjustment. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, they offered non-technical people option of them doing the work for them. Oh, yeah, but they're going to charge an extra $1,500, but I'll get into that. Now, oh, yeah, and why should they, um, why should that be only optional when those people signed up for a done-for-you program with actual traders trading their account? Now you said it was just a 10-minute job, but it's more than that. Well, yeah. I mean, before it would have been a 10-minute job because all you had to do is sign up with the prof firm and send um, support your, your details. That's a 10-minute job. Or if you're just throwing a bot on a chart, that's a 10-minute job. It's not 10 minutes anymore because it's not 100% done for you anymore. Yeah, it was 100% done for you, but it's not amount. It's not anymore. <laughs> I am not here to defend their lapses, but I still insist that it isn't a fraud or a scam. However, it depends on the side of the coin you're looking at. A completely orchestrated scam or an imperfect and not well-designed system. All right. I might mention that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what the next person went through here. So starting about halfway down the page. As of now, you do all, all of it. Everything yourself. I wonder where the done for you, our trained team of professional traders, has gone. I'm clueless and a newbie. I would never have purchased without that service promised. It's basically the only selling point for the program, the professionals that do it for you. You only set up some accounts, right? Nope. I will say it was like that in January, but it obviously did not work. Obviously, Infinity ran into some problems with the prop firms, and without explanation, they dropped all services promised to customers and just sneaked in tutorial videos. Like as of February, if you do not follow the tutorials, which is a bunch of learning and high risk for a newbie, well then, bad luck. It would be at least honest if they promoted it as a training course with a bot they provide. Yeah, that, that would be honest. But then again, with that kind of half-assed training course, they'd never be able to charge $2,500 on an unproven bot. This would be more accurate and would allow for an educated buying decision. But if it, it, but it is not, not done for you anything. It is more like you do everything. We give you a bot, but you have no idea how it works. You must learn. You must watch the finance market and daily news because the economy is dynamic. And currently, the for Forex is volatile. Actually, it's always volatile. They're, they're, I mean, they're giving out to the people that it's currently really volatile. It's no more volatile than it normally is. January wasn't so good, but February is fine. I mean, it's just normal. So I don't know where they're getting that, but this is what they're dishing out to these people that, oh, February is bad, Forex is volatile, you know, and that's why the bot didn't do well. Right, okay. And she continues, in other words, right now it is super hard to pass the evaluation challenge, especially alone. It is a ton of work. It is risky. It requires time and learning. And with February's very shaky world markets, it was most of the time recommended not to trade. How on earth can you then pass the evaluation steps within four weeks? Infinity left customers completely on their own devices after this January-February change. And support, zero helpful, in fact, totally non-responsive. That's pretty bad. And then they continue. Uh, the first two lines are them saying, you know, how did you pass your challenge? Uh, they're asking me, you know, was the challenge of evaluation done for you? Well, no, I never got into infinity. I saw this one coming. And they continued, because for me, the promise was, yes, this is what I paid for. it. Then all my phase one and phase two pro progress was canceled end of January because for me, the promise, whoops, 
canceled at the end of January 2023 because Infinity said they do not work with that prop firm anymore. Okay, fine. A month lost. I thought I will just restart and repeat the process with another prop firm, as advised. Like, never mind the lost four weeks. Thinking I'm still in the refund period, 45 to 60 days, in case something went wrong. But then everything went wrong because everything changed. The membership dashboard changed. Previous settings disappeared. The day-by-day -day totally different training was added. By then, I already followed the advice and started my challenge with new prop firm, but this time with zero help. Had to set up the bot myself, including monitoring the bot, where I had no clue what I was doing. Trying to follow the training that just was slowly put up day by day. Clearly, I did not pass the challenge. I contacted support because I was totally confused about what I'm doing, doing, actually doing here. Where is the done for you support form? Professionally finance, uh, yeah, from, ah, uh, ah, uh, where is the done for you support from professionally financed advisors? Jono mentioned in December, who supposedly worked on my evaluation in January and clearly screwed up because, like I said, I never got qualified, instead was instructed to immediately cancel and go with a different prop firm. Little did I know that changing the prop firm was not the only change. The whole freaking program was changed. Nobody clearly told me. I repeat, as I got confused that everything looks different from my first process steps, I asked support why that, why that is and if it's correct. They said nothing. They didn't even get back to this person. Not a word about the change, just that I should follow the videos. This is how days went by. Meaning, meanwhile, I was 45 days into the program with the month of January totally lost. Oh, man. And yeah, so as soon as they said that, whoopsie, you know, real funding program, they didn't work out. So here, here's how you're going to get a refund from them. We're going to help you. And then here you go pay a dollar so that we can reduce the subscription fee from, you know, 1500 to $500 as our apology to you. And that's when everything changed. That's when Jono pulled out completely. Um, and it was pretty much then Jonas's baby because then all the done for you stuff was gone. And then all that was left were the videos that were put up and instructing you on how to do it all yourself. And people didn't know that when they, when they were told, Hey, you're going to get a reduction in your subscription. If you pay this dollar, well, it wasn't a reduction in the subscription only. You were signing up to full new terms and conditions, which meant that you were no longer under the 45 or 60 day guarantee. You were now on the 215 day, that's seven month guarantee. You have to, that means you have to be there for seven months. It doesn't mean you can leave before seven months. It means you have to be there for seven months, or at least that's what they're saying, except the entire contract is fraudulent. So as soon as they did that and people signed up for the, signed up for the, pay the dollar, then they got, they were slapped with the new terms and conditions because they had to check that checkbox on the um, checkout form. And then it all went to do it yourself. And here's the training. Jono knew what he was doing when he did that because then all everybody's dashboards switched and there it was and that was his pulling his butt out of there and skedaddling into the sunset this just so bothers me anyways um okay so now the mm, not the huge long program and now with no support no understanding the industry nor the new program and no passing challenges way way too far away i was running out of time i can't contact the support over again no explanation so i asked for a refund and guess what this is when i never heard back from them ever again really they ghosted this person can you imagine a paid customer they say two thousand dollars plus nine ninety seven for the prop firm. That's a that's a twenty that's a two thousand that's a two hundred k account. That means they paid twenty five hundred dollars, so plus nine ninety seven for the prop firm evaluation, and still, an active subscription, meaning a fully high paid customer gets no response from support. 
No response from Jono himself. And by the way, people, that's not Jono. May say Jono at Jono-Armstrong.com, but it's going to one of his workers. It's not going to him. So from Jono himself. Oh, yeah. Prop from evaluation. No response from Jono himself. No response to emails. No response to the Warrior Plus claim I had to open when someone from Infinity was added to the discussion but never responded to Warrior Plus and my support chat. This means four weeks passed now since nobody responded. Now, yep, since nobody responded and no reaction nor refund of the $2,000. How do you explain that for trust and honesty? Promises made. Promises broken. Sales talk does not match delivery. And when you ask for a refund, all communication goes quiet. I call this take money and run. Also called scam. So there's two totally different viewpoints. I'm afraid I come down on the side of this person's, you know, the way people have been manipulated and screwed around. And it was done on purpose. Jono knew what he was doing. And this changed. This came about like ages ago. And then from then on, it's radio silence from Jono. He's gone. And really, I... I oh. <gasps> No wonder this person is so shocked and confused. I mean, here's what they were promised, okay? This is from one of Jono's many, 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 many sales emails that I'm sure we've all seen. And where he said, I'm thrilled to announce the launch of our new system, which is now open and available for use. The system has been des designed to provide you with a hassle-free income stream without requiring any investment of time, learning, or capital. BS, BS, and more BS. Our platform offers monthly payouts. Your, that platform offers nothing. Infinity doesn't give you monthly payouts. That's the prop firms, and only if you don't screw it up, or if they don't screw it up for you. That requires only the setup of two accounts, which should take no more than 10 minutes in total. Really? Really? To learn more about this exciting opportunity, please watch our 15-minute explainer video here. 15 minutes, my butt. That thing was an hour at least. And then when they started cutting chunks out of it, it went down to maybe, maybe 45 to 50 minutes. 15 minutes, right. I truly believe that this program represents the ultimate no-brainer in terms of income generation. And I hope that you will consider joining us. Thank you for your attention. And then you watch this guy's videos. And he looks so, he just sounds so charming and he, he just, he talks such a good story. And this was the promise from the beginning. Uh, yet look at how he cut and run. And also how he's still trying to screw people. Because this, again, was what people were were promised from his videos. No time, you, you, time to main, zero time to maintain. Zero skills are learning. 100% passive income system. 100% done for you. Hands-free, few thousand dollars. And rich to install and configure the bot once my funded account was passed and approved. Yeah, that's Shutterstock boy there, Rich. Um, that was supposed to that was supposed to set up the bot, and monitor for it, monitor it for you, right? And then Jono says, "I set it up for my dad, my, for my friend's dad. That friend's dad was Jonas's dad. Jonas interviewed him." During one of Jono's um, YouTube videos, which you can still see online, um, and Jonas is like, "Yeah, I set it up for my dad." Like, they're just—they can't even keep their 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 story straight. So Jono's saying he set it up for his friend's dad, who is also retired, technologically challenged, and also doesn't speak English. No, that's because he speaks Swedish because he's Jonas's dad, and Jonas is the one that's been doing the training on the bot. You know, Jono, you don't even probably don't even know how to set one up. Ugh. It's like they're just lies on top of lies for these people. And then that includes the fees for Lorenzo, the other shutter shutterstock guy with the red tie, to qualify your account your funding account and have Rich set up the bot for you. Yeah, that's what they're paying the twenty five hundred dollars for. And then they get to their dashboard and they get into the system and here's on their dashboard. Let's zoom in. And for the 200K funded account, you're going to get four to $6,000 per profit per month. Wow. 
No, now they downgraded it to two to three thousand. Uh huh. The setup fee. I like that. It's called a setup fee of twenty five hundred dollars, payable today. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and that's that's supposed to be for them passing your account, passing your challenge for you. The, you know the paid for traders, and and then them doing everything with the bot. Them doing everything. Subscription of five hundred dollars per month, starting in sixty days time. Minimum profit would be a thousand dollars per month. And there, they're 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 promising a profit again, which they can't do. Other payments: nine hundred eighty to take the evaluation test, but you'll be refu re refunded later. And they always say that with such certainty that you'll actually get that far to be able to get it refunded, which means passing your challenge, then surviving a month of trading and making enough so that you pay their 10%. So on a $200,000 account, that's $20,000. And then your fee will be refunded. Woohoo, $1,000. Yeah. Anybody who gets that far, I'd love to hear from you. I really would. If this bot gets you that far, I will eat my words, but I will want payment proof that you actually got your refund back or your, your challenge fee back. Yeah. Yeah. But as usual, I mean, my name is in the description. So, or my telegram contact information. Oh, and $30 per month for the VPS. So that's all she was supposed to have to pay this person. At yet then they're told, oh no, you've got to pay $1,500 just for them to pass your challenge. What? That was already paid for in the 2500 And now they're trying to bilk people out of another $1,500? Seriously, I'm going to get more into how wrong this is. But I mean, it's still, it's, it's wrong just on this basis. But there's more. So then we get into the um, the real fund uh, real funding program god yeah so here's someone asking real funding website has disappeared what's going on RFP have offered an option to refunding with them anyone on phase one okay this is after they were um, also offering a ministry of freedom through infinity was offering a refund from RFP as I mentioned before and not a lot of people got it, but then here's when people are asking about it. Anyone on phase one or two evaluations will be fast-tracked to a live-funded account once they confirm and decide to continue with RFP. This means that all open evaluations would be cancelled, and you would not requir be required to pass any existing evaluation phases. Alternatively, you'll be awarded a live funding account so you can set up your bot and start making money right away. Let us know. Let us know if this is an option for you. By the way, I'd love just love to know if anybody actually took them up on this one and how it went and like what happened. Like, did it cost you anything? Do they just give you a live account? Like, I just this blows my mind. I just can't see this ever happening. But I'd love to hear about it if you did. Seriously. And then when it came to the refunds, some got the refunds. Absolutely. But most didn't. And so this is in a little email thing that they were doing um, where people were like emailing the CC list on the emails that Infinity sent so that they could talk to each other. And this person said, hello, everyone, just came to my attention that the real funding program website is offline now, which did not come really as a surprise, but bad for those who did not receive their refund from them, which includes me. Yeah. And then when also trying to get a refund, people were coming up against this. And I've, I've seen this so many times. Um, the account used to accept your original payment has been shut down. So there's no way that we can process the refund. The only way to do this is for you to submit a chargeback. And that means to your bank or credit card company or PayPal. If your bank needs any cooperation from us, we are more than happy to comply. Thank you for understanding and apologize, apologies for the inconvenience. The inconvenience? Really? So they're hoping, really, is that people wouldn't claim under fraud because this is fraud. Um, people are being denied refunds. They're saying that their account is shut down. What? And that they can't reprocess your free fund because of that. What kind of excuse is that? Why is this not a scam? This is a scam. If they're, if they're denying you a refund because they don't have any money? Like... Seriously? Ugh, no, 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 no. 
Let's continue. Now, this video was sent to me by someone, but it is the video of um, what people got on their desktop when uh, they were trying to find what when they still had a refund button on the desktop that people could push. And then this was the video that came up. It's just a short explainer video, but it's interesting how it how Jono went through this. Just a sec. Hey, it's John Armstrong here, and let me walk you through the process of claiming a refund. Now, the front-end purchase of Infinity, whether you purchase a 100k package or 200k package, was either 1997 or 2497. That is refundable after your first 45 days. Now, if you do want to go ahead and process a refund for that, then you're going to have to go into the members area, go down to the bottom right-hand side down here, open this support chat and get in touch with our support let them know that you want to process a refund after you've done that then our support will go ahead and uh, talk to you about this and get you a refund now what will happen after that's done is a couple of things firstly you'll be blacklisted from infinity you won't be able to purchase any more Secondly, any bots that we've set up on your account will be deactivated, so you won't make any more passive income. Okay, so please bear that in mind. Now, if you want to cancel your subscription that you have with Infinity, I can't imagine why you'd want to do that because you're making passive income every single month and we're just taking a small portion of that as our subscription fee. But if you want to go ahead and do that, that's totally fine. Just remember that we will be de deactivating the bots on your account, so you will no longer be making any profits, which does seem a little bit absurd, but it's completely up to you. If you want to go ahead and cancel your subscription, here's what you need to do. Firstly, go ahead and get in touch with support down here. Tell, tell us that you intend to do this. And then you would go into your Warrior Plus account, uh, where you bought Infinity, uh, Infinity through in the first place. You would click on the little icon in the top right hand side of your account, which is your username. You would click on purchase history. You would go and find Infinity that you've purchased. Okay, click on it. And then where it says subscription details here, click on there. And then you can go ahead and click on cancel subscription. Now, once this is cancelled, your members area will be automatically uh, deactivated. Your bots will be automatically deactivated and you will be blacklisted from ever using the Infinity system ever again. So please bear that in mind. It's a good idea to go through to the members area and chat with our support before you go ahead and do this. So that's how it works. Um, hopefully you'll rethink the idea. Go and speak to our support about this. If not, best of luck to you with whatever you choose to do in the future. And hopefully our paths may cross sometime in the future. Take care. So notice there that he gave very, very detailed instructions on how to stop your subscription. You know, you go into Warrior Plus. Um, here's how you pull up your purchases. Here's where you go. And you just, you know, turn off your subscription and you do it this way. And yet, when he was talking about how to get your Infinity refund, did he tell you where to find that in Warrior Plus? I mean, it's the same process. Go find, your, find what you bought. Request a refund. They don't tell you that, though, does he? No, instead, his solution is contact support. <laughs> There's a good reason why they do that. Let me show you. When you contact support, you get this message bounced back to you. <laughs> Seems innocuous, but it's not. Please make sure you have read your signed agreement in regards to refunds and make sure you have met all the requirements in your signed agreement. If you feel you have met all the requirements in your signed agreement, you are welcome to request a fund. If you have not met all the requirements in your signed agreement, how many times do they say signed agreement? If you have not met all the requirements in your signed agreement, we will not proceed with any refund requests until you have met the requirements and will not be discussed further until those requirements have been met. 
Okay, so if you're walking into this and you're thinking, well, I put in my 45 or 60 days, you don't realize that you're now on the 215 day plan. You haven't read that agreement. Now they're saying that if you feel you've met the requirements, then you're welcome to request a refund. And that would be just verbally to them. However, they're going to then try and sh show you that you haven't stuck out the 215 days. So you don't deserve a refund because that's what's in their new terms and conditions. The one you, ones you probably never even saw when you got that dollar off or that the new people have never seen at all. And they're probably wondering what all the fuss is about. I do hope that they're able to see somewhat now. So then they're going to explain to you how, because you're now on the 215 day program, there's no way that you can get a re re refund yet. And then look at, you won't be able to talk about it any further. There will not be further discussion allowed until requirements have been met. Yeah. Okay. What are they dealing with? A bunch of kids that no, we won't talk about it anymore now. Really? Um, so that's just a way. So that is a way of making or of trying to make sure people don't request their um their refunds. Because people are then thinking, oh no, well, I guess I'm screwed, you know, I, I guess I'm stuck with it. At least that's certainly how I felt with Ministry of Freedom. Very much so. And so it's it's everything is done as a tactic to discourage you from asking for a refund or for, you know, discourage you like that you can't get a refund. It's just crazy. And, and if you don't think, think that this is planned, it's a pattern since Ministry of Freedom, which was over two years ago. This guy is an expert doing this. Jono knows exactly what he's doing. And when he suddenly scrams out of a project and leaves it all on Jonas again, just like with Project Limitless, then you know there's trouble. So then, after you have your chat with support, then what they'll do to you is they will ghost you, first of all. Then they will delete their conversations with you, their side of the conversations with you in the support chat. Okay, and, and, and this person's noticed it. Unfortunately, it seems you deleted my February messages, so now the context is lost. What is this for? This person didn't even know about this $1,500 to for the challenge pass. And they think that they're all paid up and they don't have to pay anymore. But see, I mean, not only will support then ghost you, but then they'll delete your conversations so as to give you um, no chance to take it back to your bank or credit cards, their responses and how they've been gaslighting you because that's precisely what they're doing. So they're going to cover their tracks any way that they can. Does this sound like a business that's operating above board? At sales in December 2022, you never said that there would be an extra $1,500 additionally. For what? For doing the challenge pass with your professionals for me, which in January you started doing, but then all of a sudden canceled and stopped it. This does not make any sense. Kindly explain. This is not the product service delivered as de described in December 2022 at purchase. No, it's not. You know, but that's that's the, the problem. And that's what people are now stuck with. So as I mentioned, this is playing out just like in Project Limitless. As and I mentioned this before, sorry to keep going back, but I mean, it, it's just mirroring it so much. I mean... Project Limitless, um, there they at least said that, yeah, we've got this bot that's, you know, wonderful and it can't possibly fail for you. It'll take no work on your behalf, maybe 15 minutes to set it up. But hey, we'll do that for you for $1,500. Right. Okay. Um, and then you just put this bot on your chart and it'll work for you. And Trevor Carr, and it was Trevor Carr and Jonas. Jonas was the brains behind it didn't never realize that you know he always seemed to be the nice guy and behind things in ministry of freedom other programs and then in this he was all the happy nice guy now trevor carr did did step up and he was there in the con you know um there helping people and everything for the first bit and so they brought out the first bot of um project limitless I don't remember what it was called. They all had, they had different names for them. They named them. Um, and so they came up with bot number one. 
Well, that didn't work. And they blamed it on, oh yeah, it was the war in Ukraine. So then they, but then with, they didn't say, oh, but it'll, it will work once things in the world cl calm down. <laughs> no, because, and then they had to kick out another bot. Well, you notice that this last bot of Infinities, um, the one that's based on MA and RSI, let's just call her Marcy, um, that they've had to, they've had to switch that up too. Be so this is actually a little bit embarrassing. This is my very, very first video on uh, my YouTube video on Infinity. And my God, it's gotten a crap ton of views too. And I, I just cringe when I see it going, oh God, that's, that's the best I could do. But it was at the time. I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> Anyways, but the underlying problem that I bring out here is still the same. Um, it, and it's still out there. It's never been addressed and it's still a problem. This is a super short video. We're just going to have a real quick listen here. Hi there. Hi there. It's, Darlene it's Darlene here. Darlene here. I, just I just want to show you, to show you why, why Project Infinity, Project Infinity is, going is going to fail. Period. Period. Here, is here is my question to the leading prop the leading firm, firm out there. there. And trust me, all trust the others me, have, the same, have the same rules. So my question, so my question was... When you have time, and when it's not Christmas, I'd like to know your policy on people that represent themselves as being able to pass your challenge from multiple other people. Is this allowed or no? Because a high-priced marketer is advertising it as such. What did they say? Look up. It says, if recognized, would be deleted. Not allowed. Okay? So, if any of you buy into this load of crap... You're, you're, you're going to get deleted. Gonna Your get account deleted. Will, be will be deleted. And that will be it. No it. even trying with an EA. With an That's going to be it. Think about it. Think about it. And that's the truth. Uh, it still is. And that prog problem has never been addressed. I mean, every, we've got this raft of people all hitting the, the major prop firms all at the same time. And they're all using the same bot. Or they're getting someone to pass it for them. This is not allowed. And uh, they're going to pick up on it. MFF especially. They're really critical about that. And they can see patterns. So I don't know if this pass it for you thing is going to be them just slapping the EA on there for you. Or what. Um, either way, it's not allowed. But I'm also seeing a, a much larger problem. I mean, who's going to pay $1,500 for them to pass the challenge for you? Well, it's going to be the kind of person who thinks they're not going to be able to pass it themselves. I mean, I, I know I would feel that way if I was just a newbie coming up and doing this. I'd be horribly unsure of myself. However, the thing is, is if you can't pass the challenge, how do you expect to be able to keep that account ever? Like, if you don't have enough experience to be able to monitor your bot, make adjustments as needed, see how it's going... How will you ever be able to keep that account? I mean, sure, once they've passed it, then they'll hand it over to you. You'll slap that EA on there. We know that the first one didn't work. Okay, now what's going to go wrong in March that they're going to say in March didn't work or April or whichever month? You know, February obviously was too volatile for, the, for the, their bot to work, even though others most certainly did. I mean, I use EAs as well. So what happened? So, I mean, that's why there is so much training on it now. So if you're a timid person and you want um, Infinity to pass it for you and you pay the $1,500, how is that same timid person ever going to be able to manage that EA on their own account? They're going to end up blowing their own account. And you know who they'll have to blame for it? Only themselves. Because Infinity would have done their job passed it for them. Thank you very much. Our job is done now. Here's your EA. Off you go. Person plunks the EA on there, doesn't know what they're doing. They blow their account. Damn. Now they've just lost $1,500 that they paid extra to Infinity, plus the $1,000 for the prop firm fee. So that's now $2,500, plus the $25 for the purchase of Infinity, 
there's five thousand dollars this person hasn't made a thing yet and they're paying the five hundred dollars a month or at least they're probably getting it back but still it's money out of their pocket gone as well for the month i mean this is just bleeding people money is it's just their people and don't you think that this isn't planned because it is Jono and Jonas know this exactly. But you see, they are hemorrhaging money right now. Jono is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on YouTube ads. And they're getting hit with chargebacks left, right, and center. So they're hemorrhaging money there too. So they're still advertising, trying to get new fish in, you know, fresh fish and they're having to pay all this money out at the disgruntled people that are charging out the doors. Um, and so that's why now they're trying to squeeze yet more money out of people. Is this ever going to stop? Like, uh, wow. So that's why this is all happening. And yeah, they did have this promised. They're promised. They did have this planned if you don't think they didn't, if you thought this was a big whoopsie from the beginning, well, you didn't go through Ministry of Freedom like I did two years ago where they teach you how to do all of these little tricks, you know, to keep yourself safe and to keep people un oblivious. Like the trick of going to Fiverr and paying for people there to comment on Trustpilot for you. All this stuff they knew about like years ago. And they're just playing it out in different ways to keep you off balance to make sure you don't try to make sure you don't get a refund, but they're not doing well on that because the banks are wise to them. Credit card companies, PayPal, all wise to them. The UK government even has an agency that's wise to them. People are going after them for fraud. I don't know what more they, you know, what more they could do to people that isn't fraudulent, that isn't a total scam. They promised one thing, which was completely done for you. And then they've just given out a bot and some half-assed instructions. And I mean, Jonas is obviously figuring it out as he goes along on those webinars. He doesn't have full knowledge. And now he's got a new bot that he's never used. So he's back tested it for a bit. And now what? He hasn't had time to fully test it. And yet here he's rolling it out. Jonas gone now. Jonas is the only one doing anything. And you see him, what, once every second week? And then occasionally on the Infinity Telegram group where he tells you not to trade or, ooh, here's the exciting new bot coming out because the old one is trashed and didn't work. And now they're adding new costs. Um, and there's no, and they're trying to deny, deny refunds for RFP, first of all, and now none for Infinity either. I mean, I ask you, how is this not a scam? If anybody can answer that, I'd love to hear from you. Really. So as usual, this is kept um, advertisement free. So if you found this to be of any benefit to you at all, could you just buy me a cup of coffee? There's a, there's a link in the description and at the top, pinned to the top of the comments for a donation. That's all I ask. I do hope that you're having a good evening and if you could like and subscribe it'll keep me up in the um in the rankings so that these videos get noticed to warn yet more people about this program and about the slimy things that they're doing within this program to people now and what they will continue doing because things have completely changed now so please i'd love to hear your comments what do you think, scam or no scam? <laughs> um, and what have they been doing? You know, what things have you noticed that maybe I haven't? Anybody getting good results? Love to hear from you too. So that's it for tonight. You have a good one. Darlene out.